So this is the inside of Cairn T where Jeremiah the Bible prophet was buried. He was known in Ireland as Olam Fola, which means the revealer of hidden knowledge, which is what a prophet does. This stone here, uh, most of the stones inside have got inscriptions, it's got, have got hieroglyphics, hmm. or as Oliver, um, Oliver Wilde called them, tomboglyphics, because they were tombs. This stone is the stone that's in, that is featured on my website in the, the Jeremiah page. This is the journey stone showing the journey from Tanis in Egypt via Gibraltar to Ireland. Over the years, because they haven't protected it and, and it's open to more or less to the elements, and you can see it's got uh, moss and growth and stuff on it so it's not as as clearly defined uh, visually as it used to be but th there is a drawing of it on my website and that's at jartruth.net forward slash j-e-r-e this is astronomical hieroglyphics here which when when worked out give the date of jeremiah's death which was the 21st of September of 581 BC. And unlike other sciences, astronomy is an exact science, so they can calculate to the day from, from these hieroglyphics. That's also explained on my webpage. It's very <coughs> difficult to see now, because it's, but here you have the, the bow of a ship and you have four passengers and here you have left behind the people that were left back behind in Egypt. Her sisters who wanted to stay in Egypt stayed and died there. Tefi's sisters, Queen Tia Tefi's sisters. So we come then with the ship. It's very difficult to pick out now, but you've got a wavy line mm -hmm. which denotes a sea journey. And then they change boats and then we've got <clears throat> here, we've got the passengers again in another boat coming to, and this symbol is, is the, the circle. And you'll find that all over Ireland, everywhere, and that denotes Ireland. So then they came from Gibraltar, they came to Ireland. Uh, there's a proper drawing of it on my right. website, okay. which it will show you a <coughs> full explanation of it. And unfortunately, it's deteriorating. I mean, over the last 20 years that I've been here, it's, it's much less distinct now to, yeah. to be able to see than it was. But fortunately, we have the records of it, you know, at least from 20 years ago. And this stone originally would have been across this opening. 